Hello student, today we will learn how to create university or colleges data and uh, in a dictionary and to find out how many total number of students are there in these colleges. So for this one what I will do, I will, uh, I will create a file and as I am doing it by dictionary so I will give it a name dictionary3.py this is a python program so what will be my aim my aim is how to store colleges or universities data data in a python dictionary and find out find out total number of students 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 are there for current year current year so I want to know this. This is my question, and now I want to do it using Python. Actually, why I am, uh, you know, um, uh, trying to do all these things using uh, dictionary. Reason behind is you because you know dictionary uses the uh, JSON type uh, file uh, file structure, and as well as this is uh, this can be used in your MongoDB as well as whichever new technologies are coming up those are more concentrating on using flat files flat files and why because these files are much much faster as compared to accessing any uh, big tables so flat file concept has become more popular now and these are less expensive as well uh, because you do not uh, you need not to go for big big uh, servers servers for storing uh, databases here and i mean with a small uh, you know if you are having small uh, servers they are even even able to handle these files with high speed so speed is also a key factor for all these so here let us start this so i want to store colleges data in a dictionary so i will create a college dictionary college or university so whichever i will give it name college so this is my dictionary so i will i have created a empty dictionary now when i have created this because you know i want to put uh, data from my own right now so i will write here uh, you know i'll uh, we know that you have all the time whenever you are using dictionary dictionary keeps data or stores data in key value pair so my key here i will give here name of say some university like university of delhi this has become key and inside this i want to keep details of this uh, university so this has become key now i will define some uh, more uh, some details of this so what all details i will write here i will write here say uh, type of university so type of university so i will type will be my key and i will define here this is public university then each item must be separated by comma then after this after type I will write uh, you know what all courses are here so I will write courses so courses is a key and what all courses I want to define here I want to write BA BCom then BSc I'll write three courses here now actually see you are uh, you must be seeing some error is coming up there error is underlined so because you know see you are defining multiple values here so you must put those values inside curly brackets or either you can put square brackets like this now it is okay and similarly you can define location of this university or college so here I'll write Delhi here I will write Delhi 
and then similarly i will define some more and i want to define for year actually year also i want to define year say current year and in the current year zero current year i would like to 202 this will be i'll take to 25 then then i would like to define here total number of students to number of students number of number of students so here number of students i'll write here say in delhi university say 1 lakh now similarly i will use other universities data or other colleges data then i can define another one as so keep in mind you are separating the, them by comma so put comma here as well now this has become my second data so i'll write here you know i'll write here iit delhi iit delhi iit delhi and let us here the courses will become btech btech mtech and then here you can define something define phd then here location is delhi year is same say number of students uh, i'll put here say uh, 70000 then i will take one more university and that university is ipu i will write here ipu so indra prastha university so ipu delhi let things go on here you can put out some more number uh, courses name say i let here bca mca btech and delhi year is same here you can define students say uh, 90000 now you have got data of universities and that you have stored in a dictionary now once you have done this you would like to access this uh, this data so how will you access dictionary creation is over now you would like to print it so printing the colleges colleges dictionary data so how will you print it so for printing it you will run a for loop for loop and then what you will write say college college and then college is outer one see here these college or university so it will be for this and these are the inner part of it so you will have to give a single name for all this so i will be giving detail detail will be for this details and then in which uh, where you are looking out this you are looking out this in college let us put it colleges because same name is appearing so i'll put it colleges now i would like to access all the items in the given dictionary so i will write items is the items is method that gives everything in the dictionary so now i i would like to print it so i'll write print universities oblique colleges univer university oblique colleges so university i have written here and then here you can define university is being accessed by college variable so that is done now similarly you can put some more details and that is type type of university so here you need to define type but now you are moving inner of this college so what you will write detail detail you have picked out for that so you details sorry details and in the details what you are trying to access type and this way you are able to access your other details similarly now after colleges then you can write here courses and after courses 
courses and courses what i have written exactly you will have to write courses and then after this you will be looking you will be printing locations location so you have given location so give it location only you can take single variable and with the help of that you can pick out here you write location and after location then you can use another variable that is year in which year students are studying that number you will have to write so year has been written here after year then you will write total number of students N number of students in that university number of students now after this you can in the details then you can put number of students number of students exactly see the spelling should be correct because if it is not then it will not pick out data so number of students and now because you know i want to find out total number of students so i will total it let us take a variable say total equal to 0 i want to take total of these these students so i will write total equal to total plus details then inside the detail what we are trying to get the data number of students so number of students is done uh, as a total then print uh, this total print total number of students in these colleges or university that is total like this your program is made so this is a program how to store your uh, colleges or university data in a dictionary and then how to print it how to use it actually for various purposes and i am trying to find out total number of students and then printing it so like this you can make a, a python dictionary program and please this will be very very helpful for uh later on i mean coming on uh, future technologies so please try to follow this technique and this uh, you know structure of data structure is a key factor for that mongodb is another one so no sql is going to be, be a key and these uh, when these will become a key files will be your flat files means only just maybe text file or json files or csv file and you have to pick out data from there so dictionary is resembling to all those so that's why you should learn it so this way we have done this program and thank you very much for seeing this and you can make some more program similar to this let us suppose if you want to make a program for mobile so please try to uh, you know mobile uh, details and uh, mobile models then find out total cost of uh, if uh, too many mobiles are there you can find out total cost for all those so this way you can make more programs so thank you very much for seeing this please